Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, your guide to cleaner, greener beauty, skincare, and beyond. I try products out for you so you have a better idea of what to buy, and more importantly, what not to buy. Today I am back with an update review for the Jane Iredale Beyond Matte Liquid Foundation. I am going through all of my foundations, retest, and round them all up for a bigger video, so that's coming soon. The first review that I gave it was pretty positive, so I wanted to know, do I like it more now? Do I still believe with what I said the first time? If you're curious about this product or if you're looking for a more matte foundation option in the cleaner beauty space, then stick around and let's get into it. This product was gifted to me by Jane Iredale. I wanna be open and honest with you as always. You are still going to receive my honest opinion. If you like these reviews and you wanna keep seeing more of them, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It takes two seconds and it really makes a huge difference over here. So thanks in advance for doing that. This is in M8. It's a $50 foundation, 18 shades available, and I will say that they skew a little bit more on the fair to medium side from what I'm seeing on the site, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Let's dive into the scorecard. It's five quick questions. You'll see demos, you'll see swatches, and you'll get my final verdict at the end, along with any tips or other product recommendations. So make sure you stick around till then. You don't want to miss those. First up, ingredients. Well, I still have a problem with the ingredients here, but they're personal. This has dimethicone in it. It's pretty high up on the list. So I can't use dimethicone. It's a bit of a deal breaker for my skin. It breaks me out no matter what now. But if you're finding yourself using products and they're breaking you out pretty quickly and you're not sure why, take a look. Silicones might be the culprit. That's just been my experience. So for you, they might be totally fine. The other item that's in here is Japanese honeysuckle. I feel like it gets a really bad rap because it could be estrogen mimicking. So you can research that on your own. For me, not a deal breaker, but I tend to try and avoid it if I can because I'm still confused about the research that I've seen. I encourage you always to check out the ingredients for yourself because what works for me might not work for you. Coverage. So the claim here is that it's a three-in-one primer concealer and foundation. I would still use a moisturizing base to prep no matter what. As a primer, maybe, but I would automatically think semi-matte would last longer anyway. As a concealer, not so much unless you're just looking to get rid of dark circles. If you're looking for brightening, I think you would have to buy two of these, which at 50 bucks a pop, Ugh. Foundation, yes. I feel like this is really just stick in the foundation lane. I don't know about that marketing claim, not sure. That said, this was incredibly easy to apply. It's a silkier type of texture because of the dimethicone and probably other ingredients, but it does have a silky vibe, goes on really nicely and evenly. I liked using a kabuki brush because it really buffs it out well, especially with a more matte foundation. I feel like I get a more natural look there. You could just use your fingers here or the brand recommends using a brush on the site, they might have a different brush. Sponge is an option, I just tend to not use sponges. The coverage was absolutely medium to full. It was very strong coverage, and you can build this up like they mentioned, so that claim held strong. That said, one pump for me was perfect. A little bit went a long way. When I built it, the finish suffered slightly, especially in natural light. So yes, it's buildable, but it depends on the finish you're going for. Overall for coverage, it received a four out of five on the scorecard. Next up, finish, like I was just talking about. I would say this does provide something that's more matte coverage. It's gonna keep the oil at bay. You're not gonna have dewy shine here absolutely held up to that claim. Natural looking, yes. Like I said, one pump, that's all I needed. I think if I built up or added more, it would start looking less like my natural skin. I really liked combining this with another moisturizer to sheer it out. I like something that's a bit more luminous and not too matte on my skin. So just to test it out, and I thought I'd share it with you, it could be helpful. I added this with the Kinship SPF. You can add pretty much, I could do it with the Maya Chia highlight of the day. Those are just a couple of options that I like to mix and with. It mixed in really well. It did definitely give a more luminous finish. It changes the product, of course, by doing that. You could do it in, maybe just your basic everyday moisturizer. The Kinship has a little bit of luminosity to it that kind of gives, oof. but I really, really liked that as a combination. I use foundations a lot to boost coverage on things on days when I need it, and that might work out for you too. In terms of smoothing the appearance of pores, which was one of the claims, I found this to be very diffusing, which could give the illusion of minimizing pores. It acted as if it were sort of a lightweight veil on top of the skin, and the ruddiness went away. I like a holistic approach, so I try to address that with my lifestyle. 
if I can, but when I need it, you just need it. You want to put it on your face, you want to get good coverage, this is what you do. Overall, for finish, it received a four out of five. So far, coverage and finish were really, really good. It's just those ingredients that I met the color. Oh, the wear test, quick and easy, incredible job. Eight hours, held on like a champ. Five out of five. And then back to that shade range. So is it inclusive? I don't feel like it's very inclusive. Overall, it received a three out of five on the scorecard because I would have loved to see a fuller spectrum of skin tones on there. The final score for this foundation was a 16 out of 20. Now it's time for the final verdict, my final verdict. So would I buy this again personally? I've been reaching more towards tinted moisturizers, maybe using a drop of a foundation in something, and I probably wouldn't buy this, well, I wouldn't buy this because of dimethicum. If that weren't the case, would I buy it? No, I probably wouldn't spend 50 bucks on this one. There are other alternatives out there that are less expensive that I can use for a drop of coverage. In terms of matte foundations that I've tried, you might wanna look at the 14E foundation. That's one that you can check out. I don't think it's that much less expensive. It's still in the 40, I think it's $46 now price range. There's the Erin's Faces option, also in $40 price range. That one's really interesting. That also has dimethicone in it. Check out those reviews. I'll put links below where I have them. And then the other one that's on the top of my mind right now is the Juice Beauty Serum Foundation, not marketed as a matte foundation. It's really lightweight, so you could use that and then maybe put a powder on top of it. Some people are very powder averse, which totally get that. It is not shiny at all, and it tones things down in the oil department. So those are just a few other options. That said, this is a very solid foundation. It's just personally, my skin will not like it because of the dimethicone. That's all I have to say about this one. Have you tried this foundation? What do you think about it? Thanks again for watching today. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I have new reviews every week, recommendations, tips, all the rest of it. So don't miss a thing there. I'm gonna go put this away and try out some more stuff. I will be back very soon. Until then, bye. Uh, Ah, la 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 la.